Hi everyone, Laurel Mintz here with Elevate My Brand. People always ask what a good click-through rate is. What should my click-through rate be? And people are actually shocked when they hear that a one to two percent or one to two and a half percent click rate is actually industry average. So if you're at a two and a half percent, you're absolutely winning. But there are several things that you can do to test and then eventually, hopefully, increase your click rate. Uh, the first one is, of course, adding catchy CTAs or calls to action. So those might be a little button that says click here or elevate me. If you've been to our website, you've seen that one. Um, you know, it makes make sure that it's actually, you know, visually and uh, verbally aligned with your overall brand. It can be very playful like uh, it with our brand, or it could be a bit more serious and straightforward if you are a more serious and straightforward brand. But obviously making sure you have those click through uh, buttons, call to actions on multiple pages of your website. Great way to look at that is to look at the back end analytics, your Google analytics to see how people are trafficking and going through the different pages of your website. So you can understand which pages really need those CTAs. I would argue most probably do so that you can create that cycle of communication and make sure that you're being very, very clear on what the ask is. What are you asking people landing on your website to do? Um, so that's number one. Number two is always adding social media icons uh, with click through on your website. Um, most of those are on the bottom of most websites. Make sure that they are the right ones. I cannot tell you how many times those links have been broken or they I'm clicking on Twitter and it takes me to Instagram. It's a really, really easy way to um, ensure that you are capturing conversation on different digital platforms. Like just do it the right way. Like there's no excuse for that anymore. Uh, the third one is making sure that your copy supports your call to action. People are are really not um, thinking that much when they're going through the process of finding a product or service oftentimes. So your job on the marketing side is to make it a linear conversation. What do I mean by that? That means that if you are selling a widget, that the content on the landing page or the that website, uh, you know, uh, a, a homepage slider speaks directly to what that widget does. And then the call to action speaks directly to buying that widget or signing up for that whatever. And that the click through page does the same thing. So make sure you're not creating consumer confusion by um, changing up the language or pro trying to be too smart for your own good. Make sure you take people through this very linear journey um, when they're, you're asking them to click through. Um, Optimizing your time of send in terms of your email marketing is another really important uh, way to increase your click rate, right? So most platforms, MailChimp, Planoly, a lot of the social platforms, as well as the email marketing platforms, have backend analytics that will tell you the better days and better times to send your e-blasts out. So freaking listen, like it's not that challenging. Pay attention to the data. You know that we say this all the time. So again, this conversation is very much that um, center brain mentality, right? Be inspired by the creative, make sure that it's aligned on the brand side, but truly be driven by the data. And then of course, finally, make sure your contacts are all cleaned up so that you don't get bounce backs and, um, and it doesn't mess with your tracking numbers, right? That's one of the bigger pieces as well, making sure you have really, really clean data. This is going to be even more important as we move into a cookie-less environment and first-party data is going to become even more critical. So I hope that you've learned a little bit about how to create stronger calls to action, better content that will eventually increase your click rate.